Are you looking to export your patterns from Clo 3D and put them into Illustrator to maybe change them up a little bit before you print them off at home? Well, today I'm going to show you my favorite way of doing that. Hi, I'm Christina and I love to digitally apparel pattern creating unique pieces of wearable art. And today I'm so excited to show you how you can actually export your patterns from Clo, picking exactly what you need and import them into Adobe Illustrator and change them up a little bit. I always like to know uh, if I'm printing it off at home myself, I always like to maybe thicken up that line just a little bit so that I can see it a little bit better. Or if I'm projecting it, I definitely need to thicken up my uh, stitch and cut lines. So let's dive on in and see how to do this. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring up my Clo 3D pattern. This is a pattern I've been working on. It's not quite finished. I still have a little bit of work to do, but today I'm just going to use it as an example so that you can kind of see how to do this. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to file up here and we're going to go to export and Adobe PDF. We're going to click that. We're going to uh, just give it a name. We're going to give it the sequence dress print one and you want to make sure that you're saving it in either the PDF file and you want to make sure you are saving it in the PDF file. That way it is really easy for Adobe to open it and you'll be able to actually manipulate it and change it a little bit. So you can open up and you can see you can you can save it in many, many different formats. And a lot of formats have different uses, but today you just want to make sure you stick with that PDF format. So we're going to hit save and it brings up a second screen. Now this is essential for you not to just hit OK right away, especially if your garment has a lot of excess internal lines like mine currently does. I have a lot of excess internal lines because I have it patterned so, or I have a whole bunch of sequins sewn on so that if we were to make this dress out of a sequin dress that has this wave pattern on it, we could kind of see what it would look like. So I don't want to export all those internal lines because that would just be an excessive amount and it would actually detract from the pattern. So that was one thing I don't, I want to make sure is unclicked. If I checked this like that, that means it would export all of these lines and I don't want that. So I'm going to turn that off. However, there are times where you're going to want those internal lines checked. Um, sometimes you want to make sure that you have a sizing square. That's also, that's commonly done with the internal lines. So there's just, it always just kind of depends. So you want to look through um, all of these options here and make sure you are turning on and turning off all the different things that you want to actually transfer. So I'm just going to hit OK. It has saved. We are now going to open up, not with a PDF. We're going to go ahead and open it with Adobe Illustrator. And my computer is going to whirl on up because I have multiple things going on right now. There we go. Let's zoom out just a little bit so you can see I had uh, some of those baselines still turned on and a few other things. So that's why I have these lines here. Now you can't really do much or well, you can move them around and everything. But what I sometimes find the most helpful is you actually want to right click on your mouse and you want to release this clipping mask and then you can actually edit the pattern. So I can delete that one pattern. Whereas on this one, if I tried to, I would delete the entire pattern. It's because it was all still merged together. So you want to just go ahead. I'll get, do it again. You want to right click, release clipping mask, and then you would be able to delete these lines. Are you going to, oh, do I have to do it? Did I not do it fully? No, there it is. So then I can just select that line. Whereas on this other one, I cannot. So you'd have to go in and do that for each one of those patterns. But then once you do, you can then go in and change the width of that line. So you can see that definitely got darker. I could even go up a little bit more. So you could definitely see that I have, I can change the thickness of the lines. The other thing I always like to do, especially with patterns, 
is I don't like really how um, Clo 3D does their pattern names. I, I don't find that it, is, it doesn't jive with me as well. So I always like to put in my own pattern names in Adobe Illustrator because I feel like I can control it a little bit better and be exactly where I want it to be. So that is the other thing I always love to do after I already have exported them from Clo and I'm working with the final, final touches in Adobe Illustrator. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe so you can see other fun ways to digitally apparel pattern, creating your own pieces of wearable art. I look forward to seeing you in some of my other videos. Happy patterning!